Easton Harbor Authority is part of the National Harbor Authority program and we're into our 25th year this year, providing safety, service and security to the fishermen and the community as a whole. Well, we provide a multitude of services to the commercial fishermen and some uh, transient pleasure craft users. It's moorage, it's power, it is ice, and an unloading station. In behind us is our boat getting offloaded. It took us six weeks, but we finally managed to get her full of shrimp, and today's the big day. We're taking all the fish out of there. A travel lift service uh, just on the other side of our yard with a state-of-the-art tarmac recently uh, upgraded by Small Craft Harbors. We've been covering the trites now for years because it's run by the States and Harbor Authority and they cater to the commercial fishing fleet. So they will pick up my boat and put it on the hard pavement and I can stay up here as long as I want and get all my work done and it's at a very reasonable price. Also at Trites here, there's all sorts of uh, other facilities here, mechanics, uh, welding shops, anything that you might need to have done in a hurry, you can get done here. Right here in Steveston, every year we have between 30 and 50 million pounds of fish landed on a year-round basis, so it's not just salmon and herring. We have ground fish, we have hake, uh, we have halibut, crab, all types of uh, products. High quality food caught here right in BC. Now's a good time to be a fisherman again and uh, that hasn't been the case for uh, maybe a decade or two. There's been a perception that the fishing industry has been some sort of a sunset industry and it's going away, but we're seeing signs of that not being true. The stocks are coming back, prices are up in a lot of the sectors, and I think government's finally turning their, their attention to the fact that it's a renewable resource. So one of the uh, more exciting things that got a lot of media attention last summer, which, which was definitely justified, was the gillnet fishery that happened a few hundred feet right off of our shores. So people were down at Gary Point here, uh, a few blocks away, watching fish being caught a few hundred feet off the shore, watching the fish come up in the nets, and then unloaded right here in Steveston and consumed by people right here in Richmond. So everything happened locally. I've been involved with the gillnet industry and the seine industry. I presently offload in Steveston. So we do a few million pounds of salmon and uh, herring every year. And it services the fishermen right here in the home port. The public interest in the harbour is just absolutely huge. Down at the other end of town behind me, we have what's called our public fish sales float, where the uh, fishermen can sell directly to the public. That's an Adams River on that one. They try to make a lot of their money right now by selling it right off the dock to the locals. Lots of people know. You can go on any website. Fraser River Sockeye is really well known, basically always Canadian. Well, I started selling the dock in 1980. We uh, find that uh, if we have uh, good quality fish at the dock, then their sales are, they stay, they stay pretty good. Silver bright chums. You know, we don't sell anything by the fish like the gill netters. We sell everything by the pound because nice silver fish like this, $4 a pound for a chum. There's opportunity for dockside sales. There's opportunity for small vessels to, to form or merge a small co-op for, for marketing. There's so many hidden opportunities out there. Everyone's looking for good quality food and we seem to have it. Uh, so far it's been doing fresh dock sales down in Steveston as well as going to different companies that my dad works with. The Fresh Friday Urchin program has been going now for the third season. What we're finding is there's been a great response from all the people. The product is really special and unique. Everybody that's tried it is coming back and trying it again. And we've been doing a lot of innovating ourselves. We're learning more and more about handling the product. And what we've done, working with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, is to set aside areas that are close to Steveston, where the, a lot of the live market sales are taking place. The fishing industry really contribute greatly to the economy, the social well-being of the community. It's looking very, very favorable now and a lot of the boys have got in pretty good season under their belt right now, so. We've seen big runs before where this has to be, you know, some of the healthiest fishing we've seen. You know, the fat content's really high and it's just, uh, you know, it's just a premier product. You know, we grew up out here, I did fishing. 
basically know it like the back of my hands. So. The fishermen have been very generous over the years and they'll continue to be. And one notable way is their time for fishermen helping kids with cancers. It's probably one of the biggest events that we have here where the whole fishing community comes together. Uh, we have a food herring sale right on this site and all the funds raised go to Children's Hospital. You know, it's all about the kids for us and uh, we just feel fantastic doing it. It's so wonderful to see the support of fishermen helping kids with cancer. It, it truly makes a difference and just goes above and beyond. And I know quite a few fishermen and a lot of them, of course, I see here today, my friends, and uh, I'm so pleased to see that so many have come out and gotten behind this effort. It's, it's just fantastic. The $14 million funding announcement was very exciting. It proves the government's commitment to the Harbour Authority program. It will involve major electrical repairs on site. Our Paramount Boat Basin will be installing new floats, complete with dredging. We will be replacing the 3rd Avenue Pier, and we will be also replacing the public fish sales float. Well, a safe harbour is very, very important. And one of the key aspects is the environmental. Everybody contributes to it. We provide the facilities and the fishermen abide by it. What I mean by that is waste oil recovery, waste batteries, waste oil filters, paints. But perhaps the most adventurous thing that we do is that we recycle old fishing nets. That could be a seine net or a gill net for the nylon component, which is sent to Slovenia for recycling into carpet tiles. So it all works. Harold, how are you today? We are really excited about the future of this harbor. Uh, it was known 100 years ago as the salmon capital of the world, but now we have all kinds of uh, different types of species of, of seafoods. We see this harbor developing and becoming a real hub for the fishing industry in the West Coast.